plus plus doesn't check your array to see if you go off the end. Let's say this is let's say this is our memory. So we have these memory locations. And let's say that we've declared an array that's using these memory locations. So then this is going to be element 0, 1, 2. Let's say that we have this loop. So we have int. Well, let's say that our array is 3. So we have int values 3. So this is declaring an array that has three elements. And then let's say that we have a for loop that we're going to store 100 to each to these array elements. So we have four, and then this, let's just do int count equals zero. Count, let's say we accidentally do less than or equal to three, which seems kind of reasonable when you're writing this. And then count plus plus, and then we have values count equals 100. So what this is going to do, and then, th so these are memory locations. So this here and this here are memory locations outside of the array. So memory locations outside of array. So for our first loop, this is, so count is equal to zero. So it's going to store 100 to zero. That's looking good so far. Second loop, count is equal to one. It's gonna store 100 to one. Next loop, count is equal to two. So it's going to store 100 to two. But then all of a sudden it has value, count is equal to three, is equal to 100. Well, what that's going to do is it's going to store 100 here. The problem with that is what we mentioned earlier. This doesn't exist in the array. So that not only is that data lost because you've stored it somewhere that you can't access because that doesn't exist, it's going to overwrite anything that you previously had written there. And so what that's going to do is it's going to um, corrupt that memory location. It can crash your program. If you're lucky, it'll crash your program. If you're not lucky, it's just going to cause some kind of bug that you can't figure out. So it, it can also cause your computer to lock up. So it can be really unpredictable when you do that. So basically you wanna be really careful not to run off the end of your C++ arrays. And the other really common error that people make with these arrays is what's called an off by one error. So what if you were thinking that your array started at one, which in some programming languages it does, so then you do int count equals one, count less than or equal to three, count plus plus. So this looks reasonable, except now we're starting at one rather than zero, so we start here. And then we're going to go to one, two, three, so we still run off the end of the. This right here is a really common error. So when you write, code, when you're writing code with arrays, just get used to double checking and making sure that you're not running off the end of your array. So like I said, some programming languages protect you from doing that, like they won't let you run off the array, but C++ doesn't protect you from that. In C++, you can run off your arrays. And this error right here is called an off by one error. It's so common, it has a name.